Hello everyone, welcome back to Maths Explorer. In this video, I'm going to solve and find the value of this interesting square root math problem, which is square root of 25 divided by 5 minus square root of 24. So how can we solve the square root math problem? Here first of all, we will simplify this number inside the square root and then we will take square root on that simplified number. So here we can write this number as here the number is 25 divided by 5 minus square root of 24. So here we will rationalize this number. So we will multiply this number with the conjugate of this one number and also divide. So the conjugate of this number is 5 plus square root of 24. Also divide this number by the conjugate of this number which is 5 plus square root of 24. Now here we will multiply these two numbers and these two numbers. So this will become, no, multiplying these two numbers, this will become 25 times 5 plus square root of 24 divided by, here this is an identity, a minus b times a plus b. a is 5 and b is square root of 24. So this will become a square, so a is 5 minus b square which is 24 square. So here this square and this square will be cancelled and this equation will become this will become 25 times 5 is 125 plus 25 times square root of 24 square root of 24 and here 5 square is 25 this will become 25 minus and here square and square root are cancelled with each other so only 24 is left here so this will become 24 now let's simplify this equation so here 25 minus 24 gives him 1 so this will become 125 plus 25 times square root of 24 divided by 1 now we know that any number divided by 1 gives him that number so this will become this implies this will become 125 plus 25 times square root of 24. Now we will take square root or this number because we have to find the square root of this one number. So let us take square root or this number. Now what we will do here, here we will try to eliminate this square root from this one number. So for that here we will make some changes in these two numbers. So here we can write this number. 25 times square root of 4 is we can write this number as 25 times square root of 24 it can also be written as 25 can be written as 5 times 5 and 24 can be written as here we will factorize this 24 so we can write this 24 as 2 times 3 times 4 no 2 times 3 is 6 6 times 4 is 24 now here we will split this square root over these three numbers. So this will become, these two numbers will be the same, 5 times, 5 times, this will become square root of 2 times square root of 3 times square root of 4. Now square root of 4 is 2. Now let us group these numbers. So here we will group this 5 with this square root of 2 and this 5 with this square root of 3. So this will become, this number will become 2 times we can write this as 5 times square root of 2 times 5 square root of 3. Now here in this one number we will replace 25 times square root of 24 with this one number. But we can also write this 125 as 125 is equal to we can write this as 5 times square root of 2 whole square plus 5 times square root of 3 whole square. Now here 125 is equal to the sum of square of these two numbers. This is because if we apply this square over these two numbers, so it will give him 125. This is because here we can simplify these two numbers. Here this square will be applied on 5 and square root of 2. So this will become 5 square times square root of 2 whole square plus this will become 5 square times square root of 3 
whole square. So here 5 square is 25 and here the square and square root will be cancelled so this will become 2 plus 5 square is 25 and here square and square root will be cancelled so this will become 3. Now 25 times 2 is 50 plus 25 times 3 is 75. Now 50 plus 75 gives him 125. So that's why 125 is equal to the sum of square of these two numbers. So what we will do here? Here we will replace these two numbers with their values. This number with this value and 125 with this value. So this square root problem will become some square root of 125 plus square 25 times square root of 24 will become no this will become square root of no here you will replace 125 with this these two numbers so this will become 5 times square root of 2 whole square plus 5 times square root of 3 whole square plus we will replace 25 times square root of 24 with this number 2 times 5 square root of 2 this will become 2 times 5 square root of 2 times 5 square root of 3. Now look to this number here. This is in the form of a square plus b square plus 2 times ab. So here this number inside the square root is, is in this form. a square plus b square plus 2 times ab. Where? This number is a 5 times square root of 2 and this number 5 times square root of 3 is this is b. So here we can write this number as this identity as a plus b whole square. So here we will write this right hand side of these numbers, this square root numbers. So this will become, this square root number will become implies, this will become square root of a plus b whole square. Now a is 5 times square root of 2 plus b is 5 times square root of 3 whole square. Now here this square and square root will be cancelled with each other. So this will become implies 5 times square root of 2 plus 5 times square root of 3. Now here 5 is common in both the numbers. So we will take it out common from both the numbers. So this will become 5 times square root of 2 plus square root of 3. So here this is our answer in terms of square root. If we further want to simplify this problem, so here we need to simply substitute the value of square root of 2 and square root of 3. As a main student, we have to know the square root values of the first 10 prime numbers. So here we will replace square root of 2 and square root of 3 with its values. So this will become 5 times. Now the value of square root of 2 is about 1.4142 up to 4 decimal places and the value of square root of 3 up to 4 decimal places is about 1.7320. Now here first we will add these two numbers and then we multiply the result with 5. So this will become adding these two numbers will give him 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 plus 4 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4 and 7 plus 4 is 11 so 1 1 will become here so 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 now multiplying these two numbers with each other it will give him 15.7310 up to 4 decimal places so finally 15.7310 is our answer in decimals now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching